This is a CAS instructional video covering CL basic calibration. This video will show calibration done on a CL5500. If you would like to see it done on a CL7200, a link for that video series will be posted in the YouTube description. In order to perform these calibrations, you will need certified or verified weights. If you do not have these, please reach out to your local dealer for more information on getting your scale calibrated. For more information, please visit cas-usa.com. Okay, first thing we're going to do is uh, locate the calibration switch. First, turn off your scale. Remove the platter. Next, you'll see here where the calibration button is located. It'll be a silver plate you'll have to remove first. And you can insert a pen into the second hole here. Hold down. While holding down, turn on the power switch. You should get your 8000 cal mode menu. This is where we will navigate to our different calibration procedures. You can reinstall the platter, make sure everything's sitting properly. And this is it for this part of the video. Next, we'll perform a span calibration. Okay, we are going to be performing a span calibration first. This is a necessary thing that you should do before you start using your scale. Um, I wouldn't try using it out of the factory. Um, in shipping, things can shift around and uh, you just wanna make sure that your scale is weighing as accurately as it can. So span calibration, you wanna start with that. So press one for calibration. Inside the cal menu, you can see span one. Okay, you just want to make sure there's no weight on the platter make sure that those numbers there stabilize and once they do press print okay it will count down once it counts down it will prompt you to load the maximum weight on the scale ours is a 30 pound scale so we're going to load all 30 pounds on okay just be careful loading the scale any impact on platter can damage the load cell so just be careful loading weight on the scale and make sure that you are using certified calibration weights. It's very important to get an accurate representation of that weight. Okay once those numbers stabilize press print. You get a countdown and your span calibration is complete. Um, if everything went okay you'll get this menu are good to unload all of the weight off the platter before you exit out of this menu. Okay, once you have the weight off, we're going to select three capacity and units. This is where you can change your weighing capacity and your calibration weights. Here we can see here we can switch between kg and pounds for our weighing units. You can also adjust your capacity and your interval for a, a dual scale dual interval you'll see what that is on the screen and you can also switch your calibration units here very popular a lot of people ask how to do this this is the menu where you can switch to kg okay next we're going to scroll down and we're going to look at gravity constant this is something you might want to check out again after you get your scale Depending on where you are on the screen, you'll see a few popular options here. If you live in a different country, it might be good to check this out and change this if you need to. Okay, now we're going to be performing a percent calibration. This is very popular because you don't need so many weights. Not everybody has 30 pounds of calibration weights sitting around, so we're going to switch to 20. You can also go lower, as far low as about 25%. Zero out and press print. It will then prompt you to load the weight amount that you selected. We selected 20, so we're going to load 20 pounds on. If it stabilizes, press print. It will count down. And that is your percent calibration. Again, if everything went okay, you'll have this screen and you're good to unload the weights and exit out of this menu. 
We're going to look at one other thing, your factory settings, some other adjustments that you can make. Uh, we will cover this stuff in the advanced calibration. Exit out of this screen and it will bring you back to your normal Wang mode. Okay, now we are going to be testing the accuracy of our calibration. We used our certified weights in a span and percent calibration, so we want to make sure that we load the scale up to capacity. You notice that your scale is off by 0.01 or 0.02, a small amount. That's normal even after calibration, as long as your scale is within its factory tolerance, which you can find inside the manual, then you're okay. See, in our case, we we're at 30 pounds, we're spot on, so our calibrations were successful. If at this time your scale is off by a significant amount, you may have to run through the calibration procedures again. If you're a dealer, there are some fine-tuned adjustments that you can make detailed in the service manual. If you are an end user, I would encourage you to reach out to your local dealer. They will be able to help you properly calibrate your scale. There will also be information inside the YouTube description that may help you further with calibrating your scale. You can also visit our website at cas-usa.com for more information. Thank you for watching this video.